Hi friends, in our time together today, we're gonna to have a little fun. I'm introducing Box Minuet in G. Actually, I'll let the cat out of the bag on the history because it's actually Petzold's Minuet in G. I've been curious about playing uh, some classical tunes on our, our uh, D whistles, and I've been wondering, you know, how that would work, what tunes would go well, and uh, Bach's, or Petzold's Minuet in G major is perfect for us to play on our whistles. My ultimate plan is obviously to focus on Irish music, but my personal musical experience is broad, and I, I'm going to bring that in, but at the same time, I feel like any time... We can expand our horizons, we expand our abilities. And uh, the Minuet in G is a brilliant tune to help us to work on articulation, uh, some of our dexterity, muscle memory. Um, it, it's like a scale exercise is a song. Um, it's, it's a delight. Um, and it's beautiful played on the whistle. I think, I think it's one of the best ways to play it even though it was originally crafted for the harpsichord. Um, but the whistles, whistles beautiful. We'll follow our usual format. I'll walk us through the tune, standing so that you could see my hands. We'll talk about any challenges you might experience, uh, some different options for ornamentation and expression. And I'll include in the notes to this video, a link so that you could download the music and tabs if you'd like them. It's really very, very fun to play. I'm, I'm having a great time. And I think I'll probably play it through um, in, in a uh, subsequent video. Um, you may find it funny. This is going to sound an awful lot like the traditional Irish tunes we talk about. This is a dance piece that has an A part that, and a B part, and the A part and the B part repeat. So... Here is, I'll play the A part, and then the B part, and then the, the entire tune in the play along with Scott section. Here's the A part. And I used a light tonguing there so that you could get a clearer distinction uh, between the notes as you're learning the tune. Here is the B part. So that's the A part and the B part separately. Um, go back to them, because uh, I'm using chapters here so that you can jump back and forth. Go back to them and learn the core of the tune. I now, in the Play Along with Scotch section, am going to play through the entire minuet in G, including repeats, um, at a, a quicker pace, just so that you could get a feel for that and after you're really learning the tune in the A and the B parts, you're then able to play along with me on the faster pace. Here is Minuet in G without any ornaments.
<laughs> All right. Well, um, and I think one of the reasons I've played it a little more up to speed is because it's a little easier to play up to speed than more slowly. Uh, when you're thinking through the difficulties, um, the A part I don't think has that many. You do have to play up to the high G, uh, but you're walking up to it and that's easier. But when you start the B part, you've got to start the B part. You're going from, you're ending the A part on the first octave G, and then you're going straight to the second octave B. Oh my. And uh, so work on that. You notice that I wasn't 100% clean there, and I intentionally didn't keep playing it and recording until I got like a beautifully clean version for you. That's not my goal here. My goal is to introduce the tune and to let you know, sure, I found that a little tough too. And so you're going to get to work on how do you hit that? How do you hit that sequence leading into the B part? Um, and that was the best I'd played it. Uh, so pull out the sections that you're having difficulties with and, uh, and work on those individual pieces and then go back and play the whole tune. Uh, I, this is a brilliant tune for us to use in learning. Now let's think through some ornamentation you might use with this tune. Um, pretend it's not a classical piece and you'll know what to do. So I think it's, it's really fun. Actually, if you looked at some of the old transcriptions, there are intentional trills in places. See, there, it's written in for a bunch of trills here and there. Um, you see double notes, ornament those. They're great step down, step ups. Uh, I'm having, I've started experimenting with it and I'm going to play it with some ornaments uh, when I play the whole tune soon. And I think it's a blast to, to play. Um, I've been using uh, some of my usual suspects. Uh, you know I love a roll. And uh, cuts and taps on the repeated notes, uh, a slide on a couple of um, walk-ins. Actually, if you're having trouble with that stepping into the G, you could even just slide up to it. And you'll find that easier. Slide from the second octave A up to the B. Play around with it. Um, have fun with the ornaments. I know it's a classical piece, but that doesn't mean you don't have to play it as you want. Uh, it, this is a dance tune. It's an it's a moderate to up-tempo dance tune. It's meant to be fun. So play it as you like. I mean, I have heard Willie Nelson play this thing. I've looked at different recordings and there are a lot of people having fun. Most of the recordings of it you're gonna see are people um, you know, playing at a nice polite pace, but nothing's to stop us from enjoying playing this tune. So, think briefly through the history. It's really pretty interesting. Um, we have, uh, for a few hundred years, attributed this delightful uh, minuet, that means dance tune, um, to Bach, uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. The piece and an accompanying similar um, minuet in G minor uh, actually appeared around 1725 and they were attributed to Bach because he crafted a notebook of tunes for his wife, Anna. And the minuet in G was included in that notebook. Uh, most of the works in the notebook were ones he had written, but he also included some others that he thought were really fun and that he felt would be useful for her to enjoy or for her to use in teaching the children. And... Uh, and that's kind of that's kind of fun. So imagine Bach sitting around the house going, oh, I'm going to write a little ditty for my wife and kids. And it's like, oh, I, I like this other piece over here. I'm going to stick that in my notebook as well. And that's what he did with Minuet in G major and uh, G minor. So the tune was actually written by Christian Petzold. 
and it was written as uh, the minuet in G major and the accompanying minuet in G minor were written as part of a, uh, a harpsichord suite that Petzold wrote. And then Bach just, uh, it might have been lost to obscurity if Bach hadn't uh, found it and uh, put it in a notebook for his wife. Anyway, it's a beautiful tune. I'll play it uh, soon uh, uh, with fun uh, and expression and ornaments. Until next time, my friends, this is Scott Shade. Happy Lodi Whistling.